Okay, friends, it's time to talk safety. I'm going to talk about things that you should wear, things that you shouldn't, and other things that will help keep you safe while you're working with your scroll saw. I'm Stephanie. Welcome to Crafting in the Rain. Okay, the first thing that I wanted to talk about, yes, I previously mentioned that the scroll saw is a fairly safe tool to use. That being said, there are still things that you need to do to fully protect yourself and make sure that you walk away having full use of both your hands and both your eyes. So always wear some kind of eye protection. Blades do break or wood can splinter out and you have no control over where that's gonna go flying and you certainly don't want any eye injuries. Uh, the next thing that you need to wear is some kind of um, mask, something that's going to protect your lungs from sawdust and you know particles that are released while you are scroll sawing. I mostly cut MDF and that's basically compacted sawdust and glue. And I certainly don't want to be breathing any of that. This particular mask is RZ brand. It has replaceable uh, filters. And it looks like this. It has a metal piece at the nose that you can pinch so that it fits better on you. Another option is this. It's got filters in both sides. Uh, this is actually really handy too for spray painting because that, you know, smell can kind of get to you too. This goes up over like on the top of your head and then this um, straps around. Okay, so that's kind of up on the top of my head and then there's little clips on the side that go around to snap together in the back. Something like this is also really good if you find that you have an allergy to certain types of wood. And so you definitely wanna keep any of that sawdust or those particles out of your mouth, out of your lungs. So we've talked about eye, got, or eye protection, face masks. Uh, you should also wear shoes. We've also got some things that you should not wear. Uh, you should not wear jewelry, uh, bracelets, necklaces, rings. Sometimes I have scrolled with rings on, but it's just because I've forgotten to take them off. Um, so don't follow that example. It's really just kind of best practice uh, for using any kind of power tool is to not have things on your hands. You also don't want to wear gloves. Now you might think, oh, well, gloves would be good because they would protect from you know cuts or nicks or scratches or anything, but you actually don't want to wear gloves while you're working with a scroll saw. It actually gives you a little bit less control over the wood that you're using, uh, and it could get caught on the blade and actually pull uh, your finger in towards it. So uh, just like jewelry, keep the gloves off. Um, really long, flowy sleeves, um, anything with like drawstrings that might kind of fall down as you're bending over, those types of shirts, sweatshirts, whatever. Um, it's possible that they could get caught in the blade, um, but I think that more often they just kind of become a distraction. They start to get in your way or something moves and you look at it and then suddenly you don't have all of your attention focused on the blade and focused on your hands. Hair should be tied back. Um, that also makes the masks easier to wear. Okay, and then aside from things that you should or shouldn't wear, make sure that your work area is well lit. You wanna make sure that you have a good view of what you're working on. You also want to make sure that the floor space around you is cleared. You don't wanna be uh, stepping on or tripping over scrap wood, cords, a box that's behind you, anything that might either trip you up or get you off balance just a little bit. You wanna make sure you have a good workspace around you. And when you think about it, each one of those things makes sense. It's just good to have those reminders and the explanations of why something might be uh, safe or not safe to do. So if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, or you have some safety tips of your own that you would like to share with everybody, then leave those in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get all of the Scroll Saw series. Go back and watch any of the other videos if you haven't seen them yet, and I will see you next time.